Morning guys, got a new mold today. Want to do something a little different. Just gonna do a pour with it and see what it looks like. This is a three inch ripping frog by Fat Guys Fishing. The first thing I noticed about this mold compared to my littler one is how much thicker things are. These legs are a lot deeper than what I'm used to. And so I'm excited to pour it and see how it turns out. Uh, another thing I noticed was the uh, the venting on it is really good. I'll point that out to you here. So they've got, you inject it right here. Plastisol shoots down the mold, it goes back up. They've got vents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven vents per frog. So that ought to make it shoot really easy and um, hopefully things will go good with it. I'm excited to see how it turns out. I think this will be perfect for the bass. When you want to throw something a little bit meatier and maybe pick the big fish out of the pile. So let's give it a shot. We'll go get some plastic. We'll do a little remelt today and uh, go from there. Got a couple screws there you put it together with. A lot of times I discard those screws unless I'm doing individual pours and just clamp everything together. But uh, the quality is great. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so we got frogs, of course, are going to be green. This is what we did some the other day in. Let's see. I'm going to go over here because I've got some green I was shooting yesterday that I think will look pretty good. That ought to make a nice frog. So let's grab that. We'll wander in the shop here. Grab us a Pyrex. Take some scissors and I'm going to cut that up so that the nuke machine has a better chance of evenly melting it and heating it. Just grab little slices there. I'm gonna add a little more black glitter to this. It's got a little bit of flake in it, but I want a little bit more just to give it some character, some depth. Might go try to find a little bit more color too, a little bit more plastic, so that we can pour a few more than just the two. It's one thing I wish that mold was a little bit higher cavity. Four or six would be nice, but that's okay. It is what it is. Well, I didn't find any green, but I got some pink. And I think we'll use a little bit of pink on the bellies. I'll hand pour them before we inject. That might look pretty snazzy. So we'll do the pink first. We'll open up our mold in preparation to do a little hand pour. A lot of guys will use yellow on this particular thing. So this one, here's the top. You've got ribs here. You got your indented eyes. We might even glue some eyes in this morning, we'll see. So that's your top of the mold. And this is the bottom with the venting. So I'm just gonna hand pour a little bit of pink right in the belly. When this plastic's hot like this, it kinda pours easier than I expected. So, oh, there we go. All right, now we figured that out. <laughs> so now I'm gonna pull, pull this one out and do that the same way. It just, well, that one's still, still wet. Okay, so let's do that one again. I like what we did there. Start at the front, and it kind of naturally flows back. Easy. Yep. 
Yes, sir. Help it out. Help it out a little bit up the front there. Okay. All right, guys. I think that's what we're looking for. Get rid of this excess plastic. And we'll put the mold together and start nuking the green. So this uh, color we're using today is Bait Plastics Turbo Pink. Good stuff. And also the green is Bait Plastics Lime Truce EX. So I bought those for a different mold and I'm doing a rainbow trout color. And, uh, or they call it a hot watermelon. In fact, this is kind of what it turns out like here. This is a big old six inch bait. But uh, what I'm looking for is a little more pink on top. That plastisol kind of got a little hot yesterday, but it's kind of what I'm looking for for a rainbow trout. This bait needs to go up to Fort Peck, Montana and catch me a pike, don't you think? Tell you what, let's put our gloves on. Plastisol is really warm to the touch, especially when you're wearing flip-flops. And it gets on your toesies. So I'm gonna put a little bit more flake in this. We'll put like an eighth of a teaspoon of large black flake in it. This is just your whatever you get, Hobby Lobby or something like that. I can't remember where I got. Walmart, I think I got out of Wally World. Straight out of Beijing. Well, let's do it. I'm gonna hold pressure on this because it is a laminate. Hold pressure for like 10 seconds, just to make sure that we get a good adhe adhesion. And then we'll top off the sprue. On a cold mold, that's gonna suck the plastic down a little bit, so we'll just Dribble a little bit as needed. Shouldn't take much. It's a great reveal. Sometimes those legs like to stick around. Oh yeah, those are pretty. Very pretty. Nice lines. Simply pinch it, pull. Pinch it, pull. I'd say those turned out. They're just a pretty little frog. Got indentations right here to glue some eyes on if a guy wanted to. Don't know that I will. I might color them with a Sharpie. That might be cute. Fat guys fishing. Three inch ripping frog. I'll shoot a couple in green real quick. You gotta kinda hurry before your glitter settles. Takes a little more plastic without the pink. It's sucking that plastic in, you can see it. So we'll just top that off. So you don't have, if you do that, you don't have any indentations on your baits. Because that plastic is shrinking up pretty good as it cools. And if it doesn't have a sprue to pull the plastic from, it's going to pull it from somewhere, and usually it'll pull it from the sides of your biggest part of your bait, which isn't what you want. So I'm just going to take a simple Sharpie. I've never done this before, but why wouldn't it work? Just hit the eyes there. Oh, yeah. 
easy peasy. Just give a little bit of contrast in the in the water to those fish. I like that. Easy peasy. They even have lines you can stay in with that indentation of the eye socket. Makes it pretty simple. So easy a caveman can do it. Well, that does change the look of those baits. Mean frog. Well, I'll bet you we can pull that. That mold's already heating up just from two pours. And it is a substantial mold. It's got a little bit of plastic in it, so that's interesting. Those legs like to stick around. There we go. Yeah, perfect pour. I like the detail. I like how thick those legs are, but yeah, they're thin enough. They're going to have plenty of action. Not bad. Plenty of meat on there to put the hook in. I'll probably find myself fixing this a Texas rig with a little bead and a weight above this. And then that way the frog can do its thing. The weight will fall to the bottom and the frog will follow it up and down. And those, those little legs in the water just flap nicely. Better color some eyes and we will see you guys on the next one. We are Jed Clampett happy. Gonna have to go try these out in the cement pond. Thanks for your support. Thanks for joining me. Get you some.